Wait, didn't I just make a video about modding control? Why am I making another one? First of all, that video was made during the demo. A lot of things in that video were just my personal preference and predictions. Secondly, I've seen way too many slander towards the control scheme. Some people even started screaming to separate classic and modern players. <sighs> it's been a month since the Street Fighter 6 release. I finally started grinding ranks instead of the World Tour mode. So I felt like I should revisit modern control and give it a fair opinion this time. But first, auto combo is not real auto confirm. It doesn't give you any advantage. Stop saying it's a good thing. Also, I want to state one thing clearly. One important thing that I forgot to address in the last video. I don't care whether you use classic or modern. And you shouldn't care about how other people think either. It's a video game. You are the only person that matters. As long as you are having fun, you are doing great. But if you are wondering what's the difference between the bronze modern player and the master modern player, be sure to keep watching. So, modern control is actually good. But how good? Well, good enough to reach and survive in master rank. Many pro players such as Shuto and Kawano have been playing with the modern control since the start of the game. And even more casual players reach master ranks using modern control. Recently, EVO champion Kawano announced that he is full-time modern player now. Why? According to him, he believes right now Drive Impact and Drive Rushes are very strong, and modern controls offer a consistent way to punish them. Even though the special button had a damage reduction, but he can still work around it with motion input. And a lot of optimal combos are still available. Losing some normals like jumping medium punch is annoying, but ultimately it wasn't that game changing. He can still win with the normals he got. What Kawano said mainly focus on online ranks right now, but you get the idea. Modern has what it takes to play against a classic player at any level. If you have followed a bit on the FGC tournament, you can also find modern players showing up and actually did well. Although we haven't seen a modern player winning a tournament yet, but Japanese players are still exploring the modern control, and Street Fighter League Japan just started. You'll get to see more modern control players playing at the highest level of the FGC tournament. Maybe modern player will win the tournament very soon. The strength of modern control is very obvious, but so are the weaknesses. But after weighing both sides, those pro players still choose modern. That is saying something. However, that doesn't mean anyone who pick up modern control will suddenly be godlike in Street Fighter. Because the truth is, this may shock you. Fighting games are not about doing special input. Spamming fireball doesn't mean you will win. If you want to improve your game, you still need to learn to play properly. Let me give you an example. When I just started playing online, I played against a gold rank modern Ken. His playstyle was very simple, he walks back most of the time and occasionally throws a fireball. But most of the time he is waiting for me to do unsafe moves so that he can punish me. He obviously had the reaction and the execution to play like this, and it is very effective against a player who lacks the knowledge and experience. Like me. Is this a game plan that is exclusive to modern control? Is this a good plan to do for the entire game? Will this win you a million dollars? No, people have been playing like this since mankind started fighting. But it's simple and effective, and it gave him the win. Which is the best outcome in the fighting games, right? Meanwhile, the classic player that I matched with, he just throws caution out of the window, and kept doing the most unsafe things in the world, and handed the win to me easily. So which one is the better player? 100% not modern can because modern control sucks. It's for babies and the cripples. And if you play it, you suck too. Jokes aside, modern can is a better player, just based on game sense and knowledge alone. The control scheme can't make a person play better. Only the player can make themselves play better. If you think you start playing well with modern, modern control didn't do a thing. You improved. You play better. Take some credit. Treat yourself. I believe everyone should stop the hate. If you lose, just accept that you still need to learn. Just accept the fact that you suck. And don't be the guy who wrote a tweet like this to complain about modern control unless you are looking for that 30 seconds of fame. 
One other thing, I'm sure most of you know that you can still do motion input while using modern control, right? That is also why I first suggest learning with classic control, because relying too much on the special button might have a negative effect on how the new player plays the game. Spamming fireball is just one example. On my journey from silver to platinum, I have been missing input, dropping combos and basically doing the wrong moves. But I can still win because I made the right choice and react accordingly in the match. So what I think is, you should prioritize improving the game sense instead of special input. Anti-air and countering drive impact are a great start. For motion input, just keep practicing when you are queuing up for a game. That's all I did to improve. Of course, you can do the same thing with modern control, but that just goes back to my first point of relying too much on the special button. One thing to remember is that even modern control needs to learn motion input. The special button is just a tool, because for auto combo and manual combo, the difference in possible damage output is night and day. Motion control is a must if you want to improve yourself to a higher point. But if you really physically and mentally reject the motion input, well, I can't change you. If you're happy, that's enough. In the end, modern control is just a useful tool. It's great for some people, but it's not game-changing that everyone needs to have. It's not a gun that would win you a game of rock, paper, scissors. Like every fighting game, you still have to win by outplaying your opponent. This is a thing that I'm sure you can do it. No matter if it's modern control or classic control, we are still playing the same game. We are still a bunch of people who love fighting games. Without a controller, we are just a human. Without a clothes, we are all naked. There's no need to separate the players like how your parents separate themselves. We just need to learn how to play better. And we can do it together. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more of my future video, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Goodbye for now, and I hope you have a great day.